What's up, YouTube? We're back with creating a 5M framework. Obviously, we did a lot uh, that you guys haven't seen. So, this is more of like an update video on what happened. Um, I'll go right through it real quick. So, we have fully committed to using TypeScript for everything from now on. So, I'm going to run through a couple things, and I'm going to zoom in here for you guys a little bit. <clears throat> so, you can see base uh, changed a little bit. Uh, we no longer have a commands tab. Uh, so the commands got fully rewritten, which is a, a lot easier for um, just editing and adding commands. You don't have to go through the base. You don't have to restart the base or anything. Uh, so we just have our commands, uh, MP commands now, which is started right after base. And this is done in TypeScript. You guys will have uh, the ability to change everything. It will come with uh, your server folder and then all of this stuff, except for node modules. Uh, if you don't know how to do install everything, uh, just go over to my past YouTube video with TypeScript and it'll show you everything. So I'm going to run you through a couple things here. <clears throat> First off, the FX manifest, you'll see uh, our server scripts are going through build server and then we have commands.js and then server.js. So uh, we have a, we'll go through the server. So uh, right now we just have it on player connecting. It'll register commands and... Uh, Technically, we could uh, change this a little bit, um, but we didn't have to. So you'll see we're importing commands from our commands uh, file right here. And then we have a set timeout that we just never actually use. So uh, this could actually just be removed, but I'm gonna comment it out just in case people wanna know how to use uh, basically timeouts. And then we have our function of register commands. So uh, it'll go through a for loop of commands, register the command name, uh, if you have to be an admin to use it, which uh, text group admin, and then it will put it in. If you are not an admin, it'll say you're not an admin. You don't have permission. Otherwise, it will do the command and it will grab the handler of the command. Uh, so going through this, this is a very basic, very basic um, resource. But we have our commands. So similar thing. We have a uh, const mp which is our global exports and this is how you call exports in typescript if you guys didn't know you need to use global and then dot exports and the base and then dot and then get object so that's how we're getting our object so you can see we it's very similar to what we had we have a couple things that are different we have a name suggestion which uh i believe this doesn't work right now so i'll fix that and then we have a is admin uh question so if you are admin, obviously this would be set to true, where we have our give money command and everything like that. Um, <clears throat> so const message, args uh, join, so it joins it all. And then uh, obviously we have our little thing being set. So we have const player, which is getting us, we're grabbing the ID, the first and last name, and then we're putting it into full. So you have your ID when you talk, first, last, and then the message. Uh, and then we're emitting a net which is uh, basically triggering, this is trigger client event for TypeScript or JavaScript, both. Uh, so chat message, negative one, sends to everyone, OC, name, all that stuff. Um, and I'm gonna go through all these because it's very, uh, it's a very simple resource, but uh, it sort of shows you how to set up. So we have like this one setup, this is one command, you can close this, and then comma. Then we have our next command, which is our give money command. So obviously give money is the player ID, cash, bank, amount, add or delete. And I'll show you guys this uh, later uh, in the video. But we have const target, and then this is how we're just setting it to an int. So we set our zero to int because uh, this is how TypeScript works. Zero, uh, zero is the starting, it's not one. In case you were wondering, hey, why is there a zero? That's why. Uh, so then we have our target player, which is we're just getting player ped, uh, which is actually just completely useless. It's just not used. Uh, so uh, we'll just delete that. Uh, so then we have a player, uh, which is getting our player from MP. Gets our banking type uh, from cash bank amount, and then it parses the int. So it does the integer. It doesn't do any, uh, uh, it doesn't do a float value, so decimals. And we have our changer, add or delete. And then uh, this is sort of similar. So Player does not equal null, basically. Uh, I believe in Lua it was uh, this. That doesn't work in TypeScript, though. 
Uh, and then uh, we have our one. We have another export. So we have global exports MP base change money, which is our export to change players money. So we get our target banking type amount and changer. Uh, if the player is nil, it will send you a notification. No player found. Obviously, this is an admin command. Uh, similar with our saves cord. Saves cords for admin is admin true. Uh, the handler is pretty much the same. It's always source, args. Um, you could add more depending what you need. This is like a, this is basically your function line, right? If you think about it that way. Uh, we do put source in here just because uh, we try to get our sources character. Uh, our sources, not character, our source uh, set to the admin saves cord, which is a global export. Console, basically used for Archon. Uh, so you type in your console with the message, or you could use it as an admin if you really wanted to and uh, not show your name, I guess. Then we have our set group command, uh, technically used for Archon, but also players. Uh, obviously, suggestions will change throughout this, but uh, is admin true? Then we grab our source and args. So we're using a target here, and we set the target to a number, and we're just parsing uh, zero, uh, which is the player ID. And then group is args one. So this is admin mod dev. Grab the player. If target doesn't equal null, then if uh, if player, uh, then we set the group. Set the notification that we have grouped. And that's about it. So I'll show you a couple of these in game because we do have them loaded up. So in game, we'll just do our OOC and then we'll do test. So you'll see that. And we can go all the way up. So we got give money, ID, cash bank amount. So we'll do slash give money. I believe my ID is one, as it says right there. So one cash, let's add 100. And it did work, but I remember I didn't set elements, reset elements. So you'll see that. Uh, obviously, the TTTs need to get removed, but uh, I was working on fixing that, so we'll fix this real quick. And I, I just never saved it. That's what happened. Okay. Um, I did save it. I'm just dumb. Here we go. So we'll just do that, save that real quick so that you guys can get the most updated version. So when we give cash, we'll do the minus. If we want to delete, we'll use Dell, and you'll see it instantly update with a minus, just like so. But that's about it. So I will see you guys on the next. I will. I should be streaming um, some development sometime soon. So stay tuned for that as well.